Hi everyone, welcome to my channel eStudy.in. Uh, this is our third video on strings, and in this video, we will write a program to count how many vowels are there in a string. So let's start. Uh, let us first understand what we have to do is let's suppose we have a string called welcome. So we have to come find out how many vowels are there in the string. So as you can see, there are three vowels in the string e, o, e. So the total number of vowels in the string is 3. Similarly, let's suppose we have uh, another string, hello. So here, how many vowels are there? We have two vowels, e and o. So this is our program that we have to find out how many vowels are there in a string. So let's start. We have opened BlueJ here. So let's create a new class. Let's call this class test. And let's say, okay, right click and open the editor okay and maximize the screen here you can remove the comments if you want to uh, here change the return type of the method to void change the name of the method if you want and let's remove the argument to this method and okay so we have to accept a string and count the number of vowels in the string and we'll be making use of scanner class for that but so before we use the scanner class we need to have an import statement here import java.util.star for scanner class we need to write import this package okay java.util.star now let's write scanner create an object of scanner class scanner sc is equal to new uh, scanner now here notice that the s should be capital s of scanner class should be capital new scanner and within this you will write system dot in this is the syntax you have to write it like this okay once you have this let's uh, print a message to the user system dot out dot print ln will print a message enter a string okay after that let's create a string object uh, we know how to create a string object if we learned it in the previous video so string s is equal to sc what is sc sc is the scanner class object sc dot we will make use of next or next line method so let's make use of next line method okay so this method now we have got a string in s now we have to count how many vowels are there in the string okay so let's create uh, let's start a loop and let's have a char variable ch and uh, let's start our loop for i is equal to 0 why 0 because the character at the first position the first position is always 0 so we know that the index starts from 0 and we have to continue till the end of the string that means till the length of the string so for that we need to find out the length of the string we already know how to use uh, length method this also we have learned in our previous video so let's find out the length of the string so take another variable int l is equal to s is our string s dot length so this will give you the length of the string so now we'll write i should be less than l why less than l why not less than equal to that's because let's see if the length of the string what is the length of the string here the length of the string welcome would be one two three four five six seven the length is seven but when it comes to index index always starts from 0 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 that means the last character e is present at 6 position whereas the length is 7 so please keep this in mind that index always starts from 0 that means the position the first character the first position is 0 okay uh, is at the 0 position the character first position is always represented by 0 whereas when we find the length length counting starts from 1 so that is why here we have written i less than l and not less than equal to l okay because the length is 7 and the last character would be if length is 7 then the last character would be at the 6th position so we will write i plus plus and now we need to check we need to extract each character from the string and check if it is a vowel or not so which method should we make use of to extract the character we have we learned a method char at okay so which returns the character at a particular position so let's make use of that that method so ch is equal to s dot char at and the char at method takes a position that means the position from which you want to extract the character so in our case if welcome is the string 
Okay, so we start from the first position. We want the we want each character starting from the first character, and so that is why we will write here i because i represents the first position. So s dot char at i. Now char at a is capital here. Remember this char at. So character at i means character at zero. I the value of i is zero. So the character at zero position. So this will give us our first character. Now we have to check if the, this character is a vowel or not. So for that we can either make use of switch case or we can use if. So let's do it using if. If ch is equal to equal to a, we will make use of logical operator or. Okay. So or ch is equal to equal to e or. C H is equal to equal to A E I or C H is equal to equal to O or C H is equal to equal to U. Okay. So in that case, if it is any one of these characters, then we want to count how many vowels are there. So we need a counter. So let's take another int variable here. Int C is equal to zero. So if The extracted extracted character is a vowel. In that case, we will increment the value of c. That means c becomes c plus c becomes c plus one. That means increment by one. Okay, so this way we will continue. Now here we are checking only for the small letters. So what we can do is we can enter our string. Either we make sure that we enter our string in cap small letters, or we write for both small and capital. Okay, so for this. Program this particular program. We will keep. We will enter the string in small letters. Otherwise, we can convert it to lower case using to lower case method. Okay, so uh, we'll keep it like this. Okay, now after we come out of the loop here, we will print system dot out dot print, and here we can say the total total. Number of vowels are plus c. Okay. So what we can do is string. We can convert it before we enter. So let's take it as s one. Here also s one, and here we can have string s is equal to s one dot two lower case. Okay, so this way we need not check for upper case, so we convert it to lower case, and then okay. Now let's run this program. Compile, no syntax errors, so we can minimize it, and uh, let's right click and new test. Okay, and uh, right click void cal. So we need to enter a string here. So let's enter a string. So this is my output terminal window. So here let's enter uh, welcome. So the total number of vowels are three. Okay. Let's run it one more time. Let's enter hello. Okay. And press enter. Once you give the input here, after that you have to press enter. So see the total number of vowels are two. Okay. Let's run it once again. And this time I'm going to enter in capital letters. Okay, the caps lock is on. So let's enter a welcome. So see again it will work because we have converted it to lower case using the to lower case method here. Okay, so what? So this is what we are how this logic works. That first you convert it to lower case. If it's not in lower case, it it will be converted to lower case, and we store it in another string s. After that, we have already found the length of the string, and now uh, what we do is we start from the zero position. We continue till the end of the string. We extract each character. That means we can extract each character using the caret method. So the caret method takes a int value or the position as an argument. And then we check if it is a vowel. In case it is a extracted character is a vowel, we have a counter. Counter initially is zero, and we increment it by one using the post uh, increment operator. And then outside the loop, we will print the value of c. So this is we can write a program to count the number of vowels in a string. I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to the channel eStudy.in. Thank you.